I wish to speak to you today about pornography. I know that many of you are exposed to this and that many of you are being stained by it. Consider the tragic example of King David. And it came to pass, at the time when kings go forth to battle, that David sent Joab and all the host of the mighty men to battle. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. In an evening tide, David arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And he saw a woman washing herself. David inquired after the woman, and one said, She was Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah, one of David's soldiers. And David sent messengers and took her, and Bathsheba came in unto the king. Though a spiritual giant in Israel, he allowed himself to look upon something he should not have viewed. Tempted by what he saw, he violated two of the Ten Commandments, beginning with, Thou shalt not commit adultery. In this way, a prophet king fell from his exaltation. Those who seek out and use pornography forfeit the power of their priesthood. Patrons of pornography also lose the companionship of the Spirit. But the good news is that no one needs to follow the evil downward descent to torment. Everyone caught on that terrible escalator has the key to reverse his course. He can escape. Through repentance he can be clean. Do all that you can to avoid pornography. If you ever find yourself in its presence, which can happen to anyone in the world in which we live, follow the example of Joseph of Egypt. When temptation caught him in her grip, he left temptation and got him out. <laughs> 